from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the daily TV Mass on the memorial of Saint Maria Goretti. My name is Father Tomasz Skibinski. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Surrey, British Columbia, in thanksgiving for the daily TV Mass. The second are Miguel and Janet Garcia from San Antonio, Texas, for their personal intentions. The third is Diane from Espanola, Ontario, for patience in our daily life and suffering, especially for Bob and Annette and their family, to strengthen us all by your power. Restore our health, Father, so that we may continue doing your work and in thanksgiving for your blessings. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we enter this celebration, let us first of all ask the Lord for pardon and mercy for our sins so that we may worthily celebrate these holy mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord concerning Israel, his people, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. There she shall respond as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Israel. On that day, says the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal, and I will take you for my wife forever. I will take you for my wife in the righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will take you for my wife in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. i 
and shall declare your mighty acts on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The Lord is kind and merciful. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to the disciples of John the Baptist, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him saying, my daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then suddenly a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak. For she said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned and seeing her, he said, take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well and instantly the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, Jesus went in and took her by the hand and the girl got up. And the report of this spread throughout that district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have a number of women accompanying us in today's liturgy. We have, first of all, the people of Israel, who is the beloved bride of God. We have uh, this young girl that is dying at home. We have a woman suffering from hemorrhages. And today we also have Saint Maria Goretti, a young martyr. So let us start first of all with the first reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. It is this great song of love, the love of God for his people, for his bride. He has given her life, he has given her everything, and yet she started following Baals. She started following idols. She was looking for other husbands, other lovers in her life. And that's why the Lord in his love, in his steadfast love, has to lead her into the desert. He was saying to her, I will allure you. Um, bring you to the wilderness and speak tenderly to your heart. It is oftentimes in the moments of desert, not in the moments when we are 
completely alone or in deserted places, but in the desert of our life, of our hearts, when everything else failed us, it is there that the Lord speaks to us, and He speaks tenderly because He loves. And it says that there she will respond to Him as in the day, days of her youth. And this is what the Lord does, that He constantly renews, renews our lives, makes us young again, because this love of God renews us. And this is a beautiful image uh, for all of us, that the Lord wants us to be totally, completely, faithfully, fruitfully His forever. And this is the call that He makes in our lives. And yet we know that um, everything will ultimately be fulfilled uh, in heaven, that this perfect union with Him will be only after we, we depart from this world. And today we, we meet in the gospel uh, the moments of, of death, the moments of sickness. There is this young girl that is, that is dying and the father that is imploring Jesus for his child because this is, we can say, the greatest uh, treasure that he had, his, his little daughter. And now it seems that the world is really crumbling down on him. And uh, Jesus knows, Jesus knows his, uh, his need, his suffering as well. And he already, I'm sure that he knew what he was going to do. Even though people would ridicule him, would laugh at him, but he goes to his house and, and raises her up, brings her back to life. And this is what God does with us. He is the source of life, him and none other. And only from him we receive life, no matter as St. Paul says, there is nothing that can separate us, that can really destroy us, kill us. Why? Because God is always there to give us life. Just as this woman that was hemorrhaging for the people of Israel, blood was the sign of life. This woman who loses blood, she is losing her life. I don't know what today makes you lose your life. Uh, constantly. Maybe we've been trying so many times, you know, being to be healed of our infirmities, but there is only one answer, that is Jesus Christ. And this woman discovered that. She said, if I could only touch the fringe of his cloak, it is enough to leave a small opening so that the Lord may enter, may touch us with his grace, and we can be healed of any infirmity, of any sickness. And today we have also St. Maria Goretti who accompanies us, this young woman, young girl born in uh, Corinaldo, close to Ancona uh, in, 19, in 1890. Then later on she moved to Ferriere di Conca, not too far from Nettuno, where today is the uh, uh, shrine, uh, basically where her, where her body remains, uh, her, her, her uh, uh, relics. But Maria Goretti died when she was not even 12 years old. She had been mortally injured the day before uh, by a blind violence of her attacker. Pope Pius XII, who canonized her in 1950, he was holding her up for everyone as a model of courageous fidelity to the Christian vocation, even to the supreme sacrifice of life. And he called her little and sweet martyr of purity. Her mortal remains, as I said, remain in the church in Nettuno, uh, but the, her spirit lives in God's glory. And even though she was not educated, she came from a very poor family. Maria, as I said, was not even 12 years old, but she had a very strong and mature personality, shaped by the religious education she had received in the family. This made her capable not only of defending her, herself with heroic chastity, but even of forgiving her murderer who was later on present at the ceremony of her canonization. Her martyrdom reminds us that the human being is not fulfilled by following the impulses of pleasure, but by living life with love and responsibility. What does this fragile but mature girl say to today's young people and to all of us indeed through her life and above all through her heroic death? Marietta, as she was lovingly called, 
reminds the youth of the third millennium, says John Paul II, that true happiness demands courage and a spirit of sacrifice, refusing every compromise with evil and having the disposition to pay personally, even with death, for the faithfulness to God and his commandments. How timely is this message? Today, pleasure, selfishness, and directly immoral actions are often exalted in the name of the false ideals of liberty and happiness. We need to be clearly reminded that purity of heart and of body go together because chastity is the custodian of authentic love. Saint Maria Goretti is an example for the new generations who are threatened by a non-committal attitude that finds it difficult to understand the importance of values which do not compromise with anything. And St. John Paul II also said, I would like to repeat to you today, do not let the consumer culture and pleasure numb your conscience. Be alert and vigilant watchmen. Be the real champions of a new humanity. So today through the intercession of St. Maria Goretti, we ask that we may rediscover the value of chastity and to live our relationships in reciprocal respect and sincere love. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for all those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked us to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially those who feel isolated and alone. May God calm their fears and lead them into peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let us pray for all those who uh, are far away from the Lord, who have for, for some reason been lost, that the Lord may bring them back to the church, to the community where he manifests his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us also pray for all those who are suffering, for all those who are dying, for all those uh, who are sick in body, in spirit, in mind, that they may find comfort with uh, the Lord who always sustains us. We pray to the Lord. Yeah, I can suck. And for the intentions of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Okay. Heavenly Father, we ask you that you may welcome our prayers and petitions and fulfill them all according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth the, your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, 
we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed and blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. If you're interested in making monthly donations using the pre-authorized checking method, please call our office at 1-888-383-6277 for details.